oops, wrong screen, give me a moment. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not that one. That one, there we go, see video. I really need to rename these uh, video bits and uh, get it the correct way because I've probably got, I've got old splash screen and new splash screen and I've just forgotten. So anyway, uh, apologies for yesterday. I was busy with, um, in fact, let me just check something because I've had to change my microphone. Yeah, I was busy. With... Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, again, the levels were down again, but luckily I noticed before we started. So that's a good thing. Um, let's just turn it off. Right, so today we've got some, I've got, I think I've got a beat em up game. I've got a, what else did I get? Oh, some manic sports thing. I've got Poorly Python and I've got what's the Mortem, some sort of um, dungeon crawler, apparently. So let's uh, get on with the streamy side. I did have to resort out the PC again, but that just seems to be a regular occurrence now. That's on. Thirty-two meg. We are not bouncing here and there and everywhere. That's good. Setup's fine. Excellent. We're on. Uh, didn't hear a drain. Is that because I'm on the wrong? What was I doing last? Atari ST. So I think it's this one. Okay. There we go. Sound is always good. Right. Let's see how much more fuller we can make uh, this uh, menu. Because <laughs> I seem to be growing it in terms of what stuff I've got on here. Uh, first of all. Get our likeness back. Right, next thing, I think there's already a CD in here. Yes, Majestic. Remember, right? Like from the, from what I remember last time, Majestic, we got to it was there a difficulty in a puzzle uh, where it was bouncing between, I think the. Um, the room with the chess piece, the pool room, and the poker room. So we'll figure that one out tomorrow. Manic Sports. Be interesting to see how big this one is. Oh, is that the DOS? Oh, these don't tell me it's crash. I'm with the start MS is the correct one. Yeah, I'm getting nothing on the mouse side.
Wow. Can't even do control or delete. Hopefully that's not caused an issue. Cross my fingers. So boot looping. CD drive's not happy. Ha. Huh. Not like that. Let's try this again. There we go. Probably some slight issue. Check something. It says install and execute and upload appropriate QuickTime files. Okay. There we go. Requires QuickTime to run properly. I'm pretty sure I've got QuickTime, but I'll install it again anyway. That's for reboot. Hmm. So where is the... Oh, I see. It's in me. Okay. Didn't like that. I'm 
I'm going to call it Manic Sports. Very 90s, almost the rad kind of thing. Just turn this down in my ears so I can actually speak to you without yelling. Not a quick time sprite. Should be fine now. It's not happy with this Windows, is it? see if I can redo this. Really not happy. Probably is I can't escape it. Just gonna do a hard reboot. Let me just double check something for Mega RAM, SVGA, sound card is fine, mouse is fine, 3 1 high is fine, 5 mega free disk space. There's no program group there, Pong. Maybe I need to reinstall it. It's 
It's interesting that it's given me two. But that one looks to have worked. Alright, don't know what went wrong with there. It still doesn't like the fact that there's no sprites here apparently. Uh, stupid thing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's just see if I can get at least a game going. No, it doesn't like it at all, does it? That's a bit of a shame. This looked interesting. Had a lot of uh, F and B stuff in there. Right, fine. Let's get rid of it. If I can find it to remove it. Mm, I'll do it after the stream. Can't win them all on these. Let's see, sure. Right, okay. Next one, hopefully, that will work is the one or more fighting game called Skull Crusher. Skull Cracker, sorry. Typical compact, typical should be fine.
doing race race things. I want to play Squawk right now. Yep. We got options. Joystick enabled. I don't have it on. Uh, preferred bits per sample or 16 mono or stereo. Let's try stereo and 16 bit bits. Probably going to be bad, but we'll have to have a look. What optional components we got? Okay, customize what we got. Program assignment graphics, fast loading, sound effects, D music, movies. Yeah, go on there. We've got no space. Let's select everything. Especially with it being a 4 it's 6, it'd probably be better to put these on. Rave Cave. Oh, was a sewer? I think that's one of the things that people recognize. <laughs> it's always a sewer in these type of games. So how is everyone? Hopefully everybody's enjoying the weather. It's, um, it says a near record on my thing. It doesn't know what the temperature is, but it does feel a bit warm. Nice to be in a bit of uh, sunshine for a bit, especially in the UK. Afternoon there, Retro Hitch. You have to excuse the uh, installation, but I always find it's sometimes a bit fun to see what the uh, installation style is like 24 22 it's just updated at, at the moment getting cooler there's some rain incoming yeah i don't mind warm weather but when it gets too like too many days where there's too much warm weather especially in humid um environments having no rain kind of does not help so it's good to have some sort of you know, cool down here and there. I remember, um, was it last year or the year before? Um, I think it was the year before Quang used to do the movie, um, the movie night things. And because it was pushing into summer, um, it was quite warm. And the film he put on was uh, that Crims Chris Hemsworth one. Chris Hemsworth one on. The one where it's... Um, human chasing after Moby Dick, I can't remember the film, but it had lots of scenes of oceans and I just felt like I was being trolled because it was really, really warm and I'm just watching something with ocean everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah. 18 seas were perfect time, great with biking. Yeah, it was a pretty good film, I enjoyed it. And then I think not long after the films uh, ended, we, we usually did a kind of um, post-mortem thing at the end of it um, I think there was a storm come in and I remember being stood outside 
and I just waited for the rain to hit me even in my socks I've got more soaked and stuff and it felt so good uh, especially after the a uh, few days of just complete and utter warm weather we've had a heat pump on here so it's keeping it chill yeah we other have got um you know those tall fan the thin things um it's more like a, a tower fan i think it is and that's pretty good actually we had to get it replaced because the um the stand didn't last for very long I'm assuming everybody old bought ice cream at this point <laughs> in the freezer just in case. And I think get some of that uh, when I finish the stream. First thing we did in the new house was install a proper one outside of my wall. Yeah. When I save you, summer save you. Yeah, there's a problem with British houses, especially the old ones, not exactly built. They're built to keep the heat in as far as I remember, they're not exactly the most dynamic I'd say because we've got an old terraced house so it works well in the, in, it works relatively well in the winter this room um, doesn't have a, any heating on, I've got the heat radiator behind me but because it's not upstairs it captures the heat so I don't really need it as often in fact, I don't think I've turned the radiator on up here at all, to be honest. So, it's just one of those things really, isn't it? Right, we're getting close to finishing the install, install, uh, installation. I suppose it's good having a hard drive where one of them is one gig, one of them is five gigs split between two. Because I can just load it with a load of stuff. As we often say, we won't bitch about the heat after our five months of winter until at least two weeks in. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, let's see if we can play Skull Cracker now. So we've done the options. I think I said 616. So let's see how well this works. Because it's got an ESS audio drive in. Ooh. Sounds alright. Right, what we got? Interface, player health, enemy health, score, direction keys, AWDS. Oh wow, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. SWD keys. Check, 
between fist or uh, weapon by toggling the inventory button. Choose between fist or weapon by toggling the inventory button. Okay, special weapon, play lives remaining, kill quota, m uh, mission time limits. Okay, one up extra time, hell switches. Press up or down, you start your mission, bonus, mission goal. Okay. Seems simple enough. <laughs> Nay, Mortis Rigger, <laughs> aka Scorecracker. Um, <laughs> swapping the Rigger Mortis just for a bit of extra creativity. <laughs> Anyway, weight 240 pounds, height 6'4", P.O.B. Kingsport, Tennessee, place of birth that is, I think. Uh, strength, brute force, war power, hobbies, Chevys. Can I go back? Escape gives me a black screen. Oh. Strange but cool. Yeah, um, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I was look hoping to get the other player by pressing escape, but it just seems to have chucked me into the game. So I'm guessing. Found you. I know as you remember old Boggs Groggle top dispatcher for mortality enforcement. I've been looking for you because of this group crazed biker gang war. Apparently the Crips and the Bloods are rumbling and taking everyone to hell with them. It's my job to handle these things, but looking over my squad, I got three words for you. Too many donuts. I want to hire you freelance to clean up this mess. You can start right outside your front door. I'll get back to you when the streets are safe. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So we still got Wasted Keys. Pretty responsive. J for jump. Kick. Real fast. P for punch. Inventory. Okay.
I'm not sure about the P for punch because it's getting the right finger work as well. Because my fingers are kind of doing this in a bit, uh, in a way. Really should have been L for punch. Because then it makes sense because it's all on the same line. And your remap. Well, it didn't exactly give me a chance to go back when I pressed player. Uh, so, you know, when I was looking at the players, I wanted to go back to look at the girl. And it didn't allow me to do that. No, it's a continue save exit. I suppose I can see if I can. Preferences? Okay, there we go. I am noticing they've dropped the sound uh, FX from... You just heard now the, the thing that going this way. That's the door from Quake. There we go. It's a bit better. Difficulties there. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to treat this like the Mega Drive. So A, B, C, so I'm going to go, um, let's see, actually I can't, can I, put that to P, put that to L, kick in the middle, chunk P, yeah, so I'll do it that way, so it's all in one line, okay. Let's see what she's, uh, what her thingies are. Penel Penelope Jones, aka Bonebreaker, uh, from Glasgow, Scotland. Sounds about right. Uh, weight 110 pounds, height 510, strengths, speed, grace, and finesse. Hobbies, ast uh, astronomy. <laughs> okay. And the problem is, I can't go back. I have a right click. That's a bit weird. Let's try what she's like anyway. Same thing. Good thing is it's showing that I'm uh, how many times I'm pressing the punch and the kick at the bottom.
own. So you can run by holding down up. That's interesting. I'm running out of time. Short. It's those werewolves again, pal. Only this time they're spoiling the skyline. <laughs> Dang this cough. I feel like death reheated. But don't worry about me. Just head for the rooftops and take care of those overgrown rug rats. Okay, so far it's nice and cartoony. It's got some good um, aesthetics and stuff to it. And it's nice to have controls that A, you can redefine, and B, start off really simple. Unlike um, Expecto Mercy, which felt like a, a degree in... The, um, what was that game with the... where you put the legs and the feet everywhere on... not Kaplunk. Twister on the keyboard, that's it. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Careful how I run. Again, <laughs> I like after I died, it's still allowing me to. In case you didn't know, you're dead. You got that? You're dead, loser. I like after I'm dead, I'm still. I can still press a jump button. It still flashes up at the bottom. There we go. Right, let's try and get a different character. You can escape all the way through, cool. Yeah, this character seems a bit better to deal with.
Oh. Didn't know that was gonna do something. Ah! Shit! Yeah, like, I almost forgot where the end screen was. It's those werewolves again, pal. Only this time they're spoiling the skyline. <laughs> Damn. Make sure I don't get hit by those bloody things this time. Shit. Oh. Okay, those things don't like to be jumped on. As in the boards. I just need to remember where they are. Almost. Ah! <laughs> right. Really need to be careful where I jump now. At least it gave me a starting point, but I think I've got to the starting point. Uh, it's got, um, Checkpoint system, I think, if I remember rightly. We've got to get the. Got to get the pickup for it. Nice perspective um, hazard there.
Ooh, I've got a weapon. Oh, I've got a careful. What the hell? Oh, I know what that was. It was the swinging things going backwards and forwards. You right, your bum is just no, don't sit over my stop it. Excuse me, my cat is causing carnage again. Oh, there may be one, um, maybe one or two, three, one, one games of such a unique style, yeah, definitely. Oh, there, Denarian. Right, hopefully this is not broken or anything. Excellent. Cool. I mean, there may not be many when 311 games, but they are. They are there. I mean, most of the ones that I've seen to be on the. Um, repos of things like shareware games and then there's the F and V era. I can pause it by hitting um Alt. Looks good. Oh, damn it. Hello, you. Oh, this is Pixel. I do have an email of the cat. I'll find it. There she is. <laughs> nice. Didn't have to deal with the bird. The enemy's name is called Molotov. Don't give you much time for this area, even though they've basically gone and made it a lot bigger. Wow. 
bit difficult. You look good as a corpse. I think I'll call the taxidermist. Try this again. I'm stupid. Pressing jump instead of attack, but never mind. Ah, just trying to get the right jump on those without forgetting that I've got the um, these planks. I jump here. Oops. Ah. 
Ah. Jump up here? No, but I can't get down from there. Okay. What? There's fall damage? Didn't feel like there was one before. Jump, jump, thank you. Right, need to pick up the flamethrower this time. I say this time, I did the last time. I don't know how I did it. There we go, we can do the better jump. Just comes out of nowhere. Can I? No, can't get it. I'm going to be mindful of time as well. All damage again. And rigor mortis sets in. Oh, well, cheese alliance doesn't do too badly. One more go and then we'll move on. I'm not picking this character because she's a bit weaker.
I am noticing that it doesn't always pick up on the kicks all the time. Which is fine, because it's not too frustrating. See, I didn't get any damage from dropping there, so that's why I'm a bit confused. Unless the drop was a lot lower. Oh, okay, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I think I just clipped through the wrong part of the, the um, ceiling. Keep away from the bird. I think that fang one dropped off the uh off the um, lift there. Finally got to use the flamethrower. I 
Ah. That's why it said right. I think I'm losing less lives a little bit this time. But I have lost a flamethrower now. Jesus. Oh, cool. Done it. Highways and dieways, bloody hell, guys. Come on. Oh, wait a minute, I've still got my flamethrower. It's not... Hmm... Yes. It's not really doing much. Wow, that's a really tough level straight away. The uh, bikers do not make it easy.
I have no idea how I'm guessing how to jump on these and just winging it. I'm thinking that the grass is helping. Just in case. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Oh, great. You're dead. Who's going to mop up now? Ah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good one, actually. See, it's, um, I think there are some issues in terms of having to learn levels to see where you can jump and other things like that. It's a bit nippy in terms of... It's a bit nippy in terms of when I'm walking and I'm kicking and I can't actually see the kick. It's just basically going like this all the time. It's very quick. Um, it seems to go less quicker when I'm not... walking. Um, yeah, as a general beat up it seems okay. There are some ins instances where I press jump and it seems like it's going to do a punch as well. Uh, that does happen but it's not as frustrating. Um, it's got some definitely good, some, the storyline is interesting and it's cheesiness does help. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad then. Right, next two games. So we've got Holy Python, which some of you may remember from Microsoft Games Pack. I'm pretty sure it was on there originally. And let me just grab my little USB device, the one with like half a million bleep floppies on it. PC. God, I'm so bad at reading today. Um, what in game floppies? That was right. And then they made a folder for Poly Python, even though I didn't need to. Usually, I make folders because I've got more than one disk. So it's good to see where I'm supposed to be. I don't actually need it. What happened? Disappeared. Unless I accidentally delete it. Oh my God. And then there is Mortuary.
Holy Python first. Play it from the disc, looks like. Even better. Do you like the map on the right hand side? Standard snake game, but by the looks of things, it's just got a little bit more. We'll update the game name in a second. You have a very good way of getting in the way, cat. Come on, shifty bum. Come on. Thank you. Right, that's all it is. Just do it in chat, someone's popped in, just give me a moment. Excellent. Hello there, Mr. Eugene. Uh, how are you? Thank you for popping in. Just playing a bit of poorly Python on Windows, old Windows. Vaguely remember it from the is it CD sampler? No, from the MS entertainment pack. I'm pretty sure it was on one of the early ones. But I don't remember this level of detail on there. I remember being it being a very small level. I could be wrong. It could be just because it was a shareware version. Oh, it's not too bad. It's a nice little uh, it's sort of snake game with a bit more to it than usual. Oh. Wow, that's uh, really got to be careful on a second level.
Looks like you've got an editor as well. Alright. Terribly. Start that again. That bloody ball, <laughs> just everywhere. Luckily it didn't hit my face this time. looks very tricky it's not too bad it's I think it is because the polymeter is on the other side um, it's trying to navigate the maze whilst trying to see where the little blue dots are and where the blue dots are all the uh, mice you've got to get so I think I've got everything apart from the one in the middle um, I think next time I need to yeah, I know which way I'm going this time. The ball, I think when it hits the face, will kill you. But I did notice when it hit the rest of the body, it bounced off. So if I go this way... Oh, shit. And straight up. There we go. Oh, 
Oh fuck, that was almost bad. Right. All the way down into the right, I think. Yep. I thought I had got away with that one then. And then it's even more difficult because as you as you progress in lives because um, you've eaten this much you don't go back to this much you stay at this much so it's kind of it's like a cumulative effect that uh, increases the difficulty as well And then there are those times you completely mess up and uh, go uh, click too early and smash into the wall, as you've just seen. Almost no. I hate the fact that I can go into myself. I feel like I'm going up and left and it feels like it's just basically just going this way instead. It's just, yeah. Uh, right. Want to get at least to the third level.
wall is around. Go this way and try and avoid it. Oh, shit. Just trying to remember the levels as well. I think this is the best starting point to go up this way. What did I do? I think I went to this way, yep. Yeah. All the way down to the right, I should be fine then. Wait. USA, USA, right, okay. Let's have a quick look at the map first, maybe that might help. Uh, got blues everywhere. Um. Where's my starting point? The bottom left. So the bottom left, just to the left of the U. I've got three at the top. Go back down to the U side. There's a ball, there's two balls on the U side. I have to go around and back up again. Then go straight back down where the S is. Come back up. Right, okay. usual let's try one more and then I'm going to move on to the last game what we on 47 yep okay Thank you, game. <laughs> I completely thought I did actually click the right key at the right time, but well, guess not.
Always good when you can learn a level to the point where it's not a problem. Right, I'll come back up for that mouse. Or maybe I should just go to the bottom and then just work my way up is probably the better idea. How many levels are there? I'm not sure to be honest. Son of a... <laughs> right, well at least it got to level 3 was that? Uh, scheme Grand Tour. I don't know whether the scheme is different. Oh, well, Grand Tour will be from 1 to whatever. Surprise me is probably going to be random. What's my way? Oh, here we go. This is what the set is. Eight is that? Screen builder. No limit of screens. Start your game with five lives instead of three. Then a life automatically registers shareware version. Uh, thank you, Ted Woodward, for the follow. I'm just trying to see what you get. So the screen sculpture is going to be a level of it, isn't it? Initial version. And this must be the prop version because it gives me... Let's try and do... Gives me three lives. Might be the um, non-registered version. Yeah. Share web release. Yeah, so with the share of release, it looks like you only get a certain number of um, levels. I don't know if you get any more in the, in the registered version. But yep, there we go. That is Poly Python. Quite a fun game there. Alright, the last game when I looked at it, it looked a bit DOS like, so I don't know whether. It is or not. Shift detail. Thank you. Autumn. I want ooh, and it's only two six eight eight, so that's about a couple of discs. Yeah, go on then. Actually, do I have it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. When it says install it into Windows, I'm not quite sure whether that's a good idea or not, but touch one, it should be fine.
Uh, for those of you wondering, uh, this is real hardware. Um, this is the box I'm using. Currently, it's installing on the uh, GoTech. I do have a floppy drive as well. If you're wondering who I'm talking to, um, oh, it doesn't see that. Oh, you can just about see. There we go. There's a cat. That's Pixel. Successfully installed Morton, double click on the icon. This program employs highly optimized graphic drivers on a few video cards. These graphic drivers may not work properly. What happens to you just run the setup utility again, choose change Windows drivers and select standard Windows driver. Okay. Uh, he says with a high pitched small voice. Where is where did it put it? There? Yes. Yeah, she's a little bit of cat. Ooh, look at this. So you can see why I thought it was DOS, because this feels like something you'd see in DOS. Uh, but nice um, mouse thing here. Arrow keys to move, Q and E to swing weapon left and right, W to class selected spell, space to cycle through spells, one through to one, two and three to choose weapons, sword, mace, and axe, alt to pause game, F alt and F4 to quit, with that small windows doing F1 for more help. Okay. Let's not crash. I press space. There we go. Um, Q crew enters his tomb, isn't it? That was quite loud. Don't know about you. Uh, so we've got left and right here. That's the swing of the sword. Ah, okay, so it's kind of the zero, almost tank controls in a way. Uh, interesting game. Oh, 
Otro día en... Resolution's a bit kind of... I think it's supposed to be a lot wider. Plays pretty well. And for something that's about, what, two and a half meg, it's not fair. Gone. I can't even see myself now. I think the screen's a bit too wide. Um, you know, it's kind of almost feels like Vampire Survivors, but before Vampire Survivors was a thing. Right, let me just see if I can change the resolution. And it's a click and play game, that's not bad. Alright, give me a second, let me just see. What's the resolution I've got currently? 640 by 480, so it's just not quite wide enough. I think you needed 800 by 600. So if I could do 256 colors. Small fonts, large fonts. I think small fonts should be fine. Try this again at a bigger resolution. Cross your fingers, this works. Yeah, it's looking like it. Alright, try that again. There we go, that's what it should have been. It does take a while for it to load. Probably would have been done. Oh, uh, would have been better having some sort of loading screen. There we go. Gonna have to go to sleep now, but it was nice meeting you. I'll be back again soon. Have a lovely stream. Thank you very much for popping in, Mr. Eugene Grabs. Hope to see you soon too.
Apocalypse spell. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Dragon spell. Too badly, <laughs> small time slayer. Elodemical is might be the highest quality looking click and play game the vintage I've seen. Uh, it's quite, yeah, it's quite good actually. Um, on the Windows, I don't know if you've heard of Exo Win 3X, it's a bit like Exo DOS, uh, you know, a huge library of games that you can get. Um, this is where I found it from, and the other click and play game that. I was considering, but I didn't want to waste a disc on was um, Sonic. Uh, I didn't want to waste a disc on it because it was only nine meg, and I'm like, I'm not you know, disc is six hundred odd stuff. I'd go put it on there if I had a disc that was a rewriteable, but not a proper burning one. I still need to fix uh, at some point this onto my um, four eight six. That'll make things a lot easier getting slightly bigger games on there that um, would require loads of discs. Sometimes you can transfer them over by splitting them into small discs, but then you get those packed files that are like two or three meg, and there's just no way to stick that in a disc itself, so. But uh, I will have to look at that again at some point. That's definitely a sound from, um, what was it, UFO and Amy Unknown. Sounds. Watch out. 
I mean, exhale, escape from the pit sounds. I don't recognise those ones. Even though I should do, considering I've been, pl um, I've been playing that before I started Meadows. Yeah, it did, didn't it? I wasn't sure if I needed to pick up a weapon. I've not tested it yet. Give me a sec. Two and three are not working. So I think I have to find those weapons. Shit. Yeah, two and three weren't working. So I'm wondering if I have to find them. Maybe as soon as you advance levels, it gives you the uh, the swords. All right, so let's have a go at this. Let's see if I can make a bit of a better, and then see what the sounds were from coming in. That sound is that sound that I just picked up on. It was UFO because uh, that's the um, that's the sound from um, you know when you get ma uh, the mind is it the mind weapons that leave, they use on you. The one before and I wasn't sure where that's from. I don't think it's Mexile, but I've not heard of it. Right, I think I need these blue things. Everything almost disappeared. Careful. Don't let him escape. Don't let him escape. 
Ooh. I hope that was health. Keep pressing space, but I don't need to. You wonder if there's any bosses. Well. If I do well enough, maybe we'll find out, but not on. <laughs> I'm not doing well enough to find out if there is bosses. I think between us both, you're the bet much better player, so you might be able to find one. Um, have you heard of... Um, I'll have to show you in a minute, because I've only seen this one. But there was a game called that I did last week called... Um, uh, not Midgar. What's the place in... It sounds like a lot of rings, but it isn't. Uh, I'll do another one of game this, and I'll show you the other game that I did last week. It was the Depths of De uh, Dechinal. Um Mordor. That was it. That's a nice kind of roguelike, roguelike tank thing for this system. But then the problem is, is I'm so used to pressing space for something else. That I forget to cycle through spells thing. Yeah, I don't know if you've come across it. You probably have by the sounds of things. Doesn't go back. Oh, it does go backwards. Okay. What the? What did I do wrong? Okay, that was weird. Remember playing as a kid was really open ended and your character was going to the hundreds, really? Wow. Well, I've put it on for. Um, I think I'll put it on the upcoming to play it more at some point. Not mess this up this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, mother... It's, I think this is one of those games, it's easy to play but hard to master. Um, it, and I think it's the getting my head around the whole swing of the sword that gets moving the character as well. Uh, but it's still quite a lot of fun to play. So, <laughs> so I'll do one more and then I will finish it for today. The famous um, one more go thing. Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, it feels it anyway. Not managed to get past the first level yet. As you already know. Can't wait, thank you. So the mic gives your attack power a lot more. Yeah, cool. So I should be able to slam into some of these. Wizard, I think I can't attack with melee. Yeah. 
Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Jesus. I did pretty well in that round. 49. Horror from the grave rank. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like, um, because you try to attack the, the wizards, they seem to disappear if you do it melee, but it looks like if you do the, the spells, they kind of succumb to it. Um, as you also know, it's as well, the, uh, the potion that bounces down changes colour, which means it depends what colour you get as to what power up you get. So we've seen Might already, which is uh, swinging with a sword makes it a lot easier to kill uh, enemies. We've got the Hammer, which I think is probably a different, um, probably a different damage level in the Shield as well. Um, but yeah, quite fun, uh, quite a lot of fun that one. How long is level one? I have no idea. I'm really gonna have to go through this. Uh, let's see if it tells me what else. Because there is a more. So this is more help. Kill guards to release souls. Collect souls to charge magic. Cast a gate spell to reach. Oh, that's what I should have been doing. And that's fine. Pentagram on the top right corner monitors your magic strength. When it's yellow, it's completely charged. Collecting souls increases your magic, Collecting, casting spells, regen health damage, and getting hit by certain projectiles would re reduce magic. Below pentagram is your strength meter, strength how fast you can swing a weapon, and how much damage it'll do. Strength can be increased by um, charging magic counters to the maximum. Certain potions will give you a temporary strength boost, which we've seen. Under the strength meter is your shield and health counters. These are reduced by enemy hits. When the shield leaves gone, you will take damage directly to your health. When your health is reduced, five steps the game is over. Both the shield and your health will regenerate over time. Uh, but regaining health will cost you mag magic points. Bottom right is the uh, spell display. Uh, cycling through space. Violet bar next to it shows the power needed to cast it. Green bar shows available magic power. Spells are Dragon is a uh, short range magical flamethrower. Lightning casts powerful bolts to can pass through obstacles. Apocalypse destroys all of enemies on screen. Gate creates a short lived magical gateway to use the gate to run into it before it disappears. It's the only way to exit a level. An hourglass will flash periodically in the top left corner of the screen. When a sand is run out, the angels of Morton will begin appearing uh, to fetch you back to the netherworld. They can be destroyed, but more will always come until you leave the level. So this feels like, um, almost feels like, um, uh, you spend too long in, uh, what's the game, Bubble Bubble, the ghost dragon thingy pops in. Uh, if, if you know what I'm think, referring to. Potions, here we go. So Mike we've seen. Shield makes you temporarily invulnerable. Hammer gives you a somehow hammer. Weapon of incredible destructive potential. Right, okay, let's try one more. Let's see if I can actually do the gate thing. So it looks like level 1 will continue on until you actually cast a gate spell.
try and keep away from them just to reach and help a bit. Jesus, this way, this way, this way, come on. Shoo. You can get stuck. Spell. Is back again. Hello there, Denarian. I promise I'm using the left and right keys up to. Sometimes I can get it, sometimes I can't. It's, it's not always consistent. Yeah, nice game. It's tough on occasion. Which is a good thing. Trying to at least leave this level. Watch out. 
watch that gate though. Not yet. Take care of this one. Gate level. Yes. There's a gate there. Done. Right, level two now. Do you mind where you're putting your paws, little one? Yeah. Look at me like that. P. Sorry, it's really big. Wonder how big the axe is going to be. <laughs> Ooh, under secret. The wizard. Watch out. This time, was it? Well, at least I got to the second round and now I test you, please. <laughs> but it's fun to, sometimes it's fun to at least try without um, looking into instructions sometimes. Um, so it looks like, yeah, you just got to kind of kill and kill and capture all the, all the um, souls till you get to the point where you can cast the, the gate spell. But as you can see, level two, I wasn't even getting to high enough so it's one of those easy to play ish 
hard to master the games and it's quite fun and from what McCall was saying we're one of the better click and play games but uh, yeah really enjoyed that one right so we've looked at a few of these games I will quickly show off um, for McCall anyway I know I said he played it ages ago but Mordor is this one in fact, 800 by 600 might be a bit better because of the way the screen um, size comes in. Give me a little one. What did we call the... Was it... Incorrect pattern. I don't know why they put the cast words on there. What did I call... I can't remember what I called him. Um... I can't remember what I called the password, sorry. No, I don't. Just do this for now. I think you've got to save it. And then I put in that as a password, it's not the best. Oh, it, it, that's interesting. We've been on this level before. Does that mean it saves it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, I've got no weapon, unfortunately. Selecting alignment. Oh, good neutral evil. Let's do good. I have to start with a bronze dagger, I think. And a bronze sword should be fine. Okay, let's try this again. Equip that one, equip that one, equip that one. There we go. Kind of helps when you're fighting with natural weapon <laughs> and then I die again well essentially this is Mordor uh, like McCaw said I think he's played it so it's fine but I will be playing this as a proper let's play at some point because it does look quite interesting and it's another one of those games that's actually quite not as big in size So what's Mordor? It was something silly like a couple of meg. That's two meg there. Let's call it two meg there. This is probably going to balloon out. So 
so what we say six meg two four six seven meg something like that it's not bad for that sort of uh game that looks quite in depth but yeah right anyway thank you everyone for popping in it's been an interesting stream the only disappointment was maniac sports that i couldn't play because it didn't like the um the quick time stuff in there so a bit of a disappointment but uh skull cracker was fun as well as what else did we play poorly python is always a, a good classic as well as uh the mortem which is a very interesting arcade game so i'm quite glad i played that one um i am going to back let's get this correct cool i'm going to back on well i was going back tomorrow because we're playing majestic part one alien encounter that is a point and click game for 3.1 um we were stuck on well we're, there was a puzzle to do and it's to do with some sort of number puzzle so that's going to be interesting to find out what that's going to be um but we'll find that one out tomorrow we're on saturday yes we are just checking <laughs> so yeah that is definitely tomorrow and then next week as i'm celebrating the 500 passing 500 followers which i still can't believe i'm saying uh, I'm going to be streaming every day for a week, so I've got Monday and Tuesday, which is going to be, uh, Monday is going to be the, the Atari ST Takeover, um, that's just for this month. We've got uh, the main game on Tuesday, I think Wednesday I'm going to do, or I'm going to try to do Euro Truck Simulator with VR and steering wheel. Uh, then Thursday I'm going to do another... Meadows main game, so that's gonna be another majestic game. Friday's gonna be some more man random games for Windows 3. Saturday, I will do playing on Honor Guard, which was the game we were playing uh, as a Sunday game before I started this event. And then Sunday is gonna be another the back on the main game, so that's just be for next week only to celebrate the 500. Uh, it's going to be a stream every day for next week, and that's what I'm planning. I'll put the, um, the schedule in Discord. Um, if you want to know what the Discord is, this is it. And that's where I basically give updates. So if I'm having to push a stream off until the next day, which I had to do today, because um, I had freelancing work yesterday, um, I usually put it up there. So again, thanks everyone for popping in. It's been a great stream. Um, always good to, you know, look at the underdog as uh, the Windows 3 was kind of the underdog in terms of DOS games and stuff. Well, sorry, in terms of game games in general. Um, but it's nice to be able to give it some loving, as it were. Let's see who else is available for raiding. Hopefully somebody's doing some more Mido stuff. No, nope, just me. In fact, just as a point as well, um, I, this isn't a closed event, and I should have been saying this more often, but I've just been busy with other things. So yeah, I, I created this event. I know two other people are doing it. Um, I know Artem Havoc's been playing uh, things like Fury 3. Uh, I know that um, Dan Van Dam is doing, uh, was it Shivers? which is like a point and click horror style game. Um, I'll give those two people a shout out here. So this is Art Me Havoc. It finally clicks in. That looks to be um, Chasm, the Rift, possibly. That's what it looks like anyway. <laughs> I 
And this is Dan Van Dam. people clip you accidentally anyway um, <laughs> so yeah basically say if you want to uh, take part in the stream it is an open uh, event um, just put in play Windows 3 games put in Mado as in the title and in the um, tag because it means that when I'm going to raid other people I will check that tag and I can raid them over and have fun with playing Windows 3 games is basically what I'm saying so there's still enough time left to do a couple of streams if you want to uh, we've got like a, is it a good another week and a, a week and a bit. I think it's most of about two weeks left of May, uh, and then I'm going to go back to uh, my usual stuff, which is Amiga Monday. Uh, now more retro um, RPGs Tuesday, um, Fridays. I usually do Retro Slam Game Club uh, if they've got anything that's that I kind of want to get involved in. Otherwise, it's just something random. And then uh, Sundays is full of Let's Play of something. Um, so that's g generally what's going on. Um, usually when I'm not doing Meadows. Um, okay, so let's see who we can raid. Uh, let's go raid Grassomaniac, he's doing a 12 hour arcade um, extravagant. Are you, so, oh God, my mouth is gone. So basically, he's doing something with AntStream, and AntStream is an online. Um, how would you put it? It's an online games thing where bas basically you play arcade games, retro games like Amiga, Spectrum, and all that sort of stuff. Um, you can do things like have scoreboards, I've got tournaments, that sort of thing. And uh, what's he playing at the moment? I'm not sure. Probably some snazzy game. Uh, but yeah, we'll go over to um, WrestleManiac anyway. So, hopefully see you tomorrow for Majestic Part 1. It's quite a good, uh, it's, an, it's a good point and click to, to, you know, it's got some... You know it's the end of the stream. I, my, my system is just gone now. <laughs> yeah, so it's a good point and click. Uh, pop in and see what it's like anyway. And I'll see you. If not, you know the rest of my schedule. It's up that way. And until then, I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>